back to my channel. I've been waiting for this particular box to come in the mail. Now, when I say I've been waiting, it doesn't mean, oh, it took forever. I just mean, when the box came, I wanted to do a video on it. So, the box got here today. I got a message from the business owner asking me, did I receive my box? And to please let her know, and she would close out my order great customer service and so anyways I'm ready to get into this box but I also want to have a theme to this video and so what the theme is is just about support people and I have I'm fortunate that I have great subscribers I have since day one I don't I don't know God just blessed me and sent the right people my way because that's always my pet peeve I can't stand when People are basically like crabs in a bucket where they have the mentality like, well, I'm not doing as good as you or I'm unhappy. I don't want you to succeed. And so anyway, the point is you should always be supportive and support people in their walks of life and in their dreams. And so with that theme, I want to shout out some more YouTubers as I normally do. Like, this comes from my heart, this comes from my brain, this is like a feeling that comes over me, like, okay, who do I feel that I want to, you know, give a little, and, and it doesn't mean, oh, well, she didn't shout me out this time or whatever. It's just literally, this is who was put on my heart at that time, and I just follow my heart. So, I everybody I interact with, I love, I, there's no... I don't have any beef with anybody on YouTube. <laughs> it's nothing like that. I just, I if I could, I'd help everybody. And you know, I'm a small channel, but even as I grow and continue to grow, I'm gonna always have this mentality because you should be a supportive person. Because at the end of the day, life is short. And if you spend your whole life being a miserable person and always worried about yourself and looking at oh well hmm so and so blah 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 like even if so and so is rubbing you wrong you can still wish that person well like that's just how i am so anyway i'm gonna shout out some channels and i'm gonna put a link in the description to each of their channels i hope you guys go and support them i support them i'm gonna continue to support them and they also support me and that's what this is all about I'm going to name the YouTubers and I'm going to put the links in the descriptions. So, um, the first one I want to name, this lady is super supportive to me. And I think in my giveaway thing, she said she didn't remember how we met, but I actually did. We met on my good friend um, doing life with Miranda. So, y'all know Miranda. Um, we met on her channel. She was in a live one night. And... Um, we were just chatting in there and she joined my channel from there. I reciprocated or I I joined, she reciprocated, however it went. But that's how we um, became buddies on YouTube. She's super supportive, super nice lady. And I recommend joining her channel. Like you won't regret it. And her name is, I'm a subscription addict. I think it's I'm a subscription addict or I'm a subscription addict lover. It's hard for me to remember channel names, especially the long ones. So it's nothing against her, but I think it's I'm a subscription addict. But either way, you'll have the link so you don't have to look for it. I'll make it easy for you. The second person I also met through Miranda. So go Miranda, shout out to you. Um, this lady's name is Robin's Closet. She's also super, super, super supportive. I love chatting with her. Like all these ladies, like we form kind of like a bond. Like even if it's in the comments, we kind of like make little jokes back and forth. Or if it's in a live and we see each other, it's like, hey girl, hey. And that's how a lot of YouTubers become. It's like you feel like you're welcomed somewhere. And like real life isn't really like that at times. Like and mine is and I don't hang out with anybody. I don't have friends it's just me my work and my life my kids basically so um anyway so robin's closet shout out to her um i don't know how many subscribers she has now i think it's over three thousand. so she's doing really good um i'm a subscription addict she's a smaller channel like me so she needs the help growing as well 
Uh, let me see, who's the third one? Third one that was put on my heart was a guy named El Negs, and he's an up and coming new YouTuber. And the reason I chose him, um, and that's another funny one, he couldn't remember how we met. He thought that I followed him first, he followed me back, which is true. And so the way I found him, so there's just and a lot of you guys know her, she's a bigger YouTuber. But I was in one of her lives and I remember he was in there and he's in a room like his Ann has like 30,000 or whatever plus subscribers. And he went in there and he was like, hey, would you support a guy doing makeup or a guy doing unboxings? And it stuck with me. I was like, dang, I don't follow any guys who do unboxings. And he had asked Ann to follow. I don't know whether she did or not. I'm, I'm assume she did. But anyway. The point is, right then and there, I was like, hey, this guy put himself out there. He was brand new at the time, and I subscribed. So he's a really nice guy. I asked him, is there anything he wanted me to pass along? Because he, he's newer. I don't know him as much. And he said he's an up-and-coming MUA. And you'll see that a lot from him. He's always doing makeup looks always posting them. He's trying out new makeup product. He's legit always trying out new products, showing you how they perform, showing you a look. And you talk about a giveaway king, that's your man right there. He's always doing giveaways and, but don't join him for that. Cause you know, but the point is he's a good guy. He's doing something different. He's, he's, <laughs> I guess in a community that's full of women and he's just trying to fit in and so the point is let's let's welcome him with open arms and i will post his link um let's see that's three i had all their names i'm trying to remember i should have written this down who is the f oh tia marie okay so tia marie is one of those people that every single live i go to i don't care whose channel it is she's there She's the most supportive person. And I'm talking about if she's in on your channel in the comments, she's in somebody else's, Jen McQuown, any of those people, any of their live streams, Confidence Plus, um, No Drama Makeup Mama, any of them, you go in there, Tia Marie is everybody's biggest fan. And like, you cannot beat a person like that. Like, who does not want a person like that in their life period like she's the most supportive sweetest person and so she was she's always like in the community and loves makeup and on instagram posting beautiful looks she's great at makeup and it's like girl why are you like you have the best personality me and her i kind of feel like it's weird but when we go in lives we're like tag team we both kind of have the same like cutesy little dirty mind like we can crack jokes and i don't know it we just bond really well and maybe everybody bonds really well with her i don't know but i just feel like we kind of have the same personality and it's hilarious like i feel like it's somebody who gets me right right away so anyway so many youtubers begged her to start a channel and she finally did and we're so happy and it's like her first video in she was a complete natural she thinks she was so nervous and blah 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 but it didn't you couldn't tell she's herself what you get is what you get with her and that's just an authentic human being and i i mean i can't say anything <laughs> bad or any you know she's just amazing so follow her as well okay this last one that i'm gonna say and like i said if i did not say your name that does not mean anything because i have no i support everyone everyone i promise you this is my personality i want everybody to succeed if you're gonna go shoot for the moon and back great if you're everybody does better than me that's great that's what god intended so anyway please don't have hurt feelings it's just who is on my heart today and i went with it okay so anyway all right so the last one this is kind of a a double whammy so for me i have this thing where i feel like 
same thing support like these youtubers because we're putting our lives out there it's not easy but number two support small businesses and i don't care if it's a woman-owned business a family-owned business a black-owned business none of that matters to me i love the theme behind you know if it's black owned woman owned whatever whatever it is that motivates you that's wonderful like i i get it but just the fact that you had the guts to start a business is amazing to me. So I I feel like a lot of us, if we know somebody or see somebody and they're starting their own business, like do everything you can to support them because that that's scary. Like you're investing money, like you don't know if people are going to like it. You're literally putting yourself out there. So I started following this lady recently and I would always hear her name come up in different topics, different lives, whatever, or I would see her in lives and for whatever reason, we just never came together. And so I was like, probably, um, probably about three weeks ago, I was like, I wanna kind of like branch out more. And I was like looking up other beauty YouTubers, other people that do unboxing. Just trying to see who else is out there on the internet. Because I, I feel like I, I know the people I know, but I'm sure there's hundreds, thousands more. And, you know, I just like to get to know people, see what they're doing, see what makeup they're into. So anyways, I finally was like, I, I, I subscribed to her at one point, but I never had really checked her out. So I went in her channel and I started watching and I'm like, this chick is amazing. Like, she's really funny. And I was watching videos, and um, her son is adorable. And anyways, I um, was talking to another business owner recently and asking questions because at some point in my life, I kind of have, and I haven't told you guys this, I have, like, these dream palettes I want to make that... <laughs> I don't know if I want to do them by hand or if I want to find a company that kind of buys into the idea, but it, I just I just can't get them out of my head. It's literally that serious. Like I'm just like I feel like these are meant to be done, need to be done, but I don't know where to go. So I was trying to ask this business owner I know who who has a makeup line, and they were it was weird because she was like. You should talk to um, My Real California Life, which is, this is the fifth channel I'm telling you about. So I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, she literally just started her company. I was like, and it was odd because I had just started watching her, <laughs> her videos. I was already subscribed. So it was kind of like meant to be. So I'm like, I'm just going to shoot my shot and message her and ask her questions. And you talk about the nicest, humblest down to earth like she could have been like girl i did my own research you do you know you do your own so anyways in the process i was like let me look at her makeup let me see what's going on what's the tea and beautiful gorgeous and she's a small business that just started so i had messaged her i was like hey i went to your website and i purchased this and this whatever and she's like oh <gasps> And I never knew like I was gonna make her day, just like she had just touched my life by answering my questions and helping me. And it was just so weird. Like we were just put together at that moment, you know? But um, she's like, you're the first, she had had people message her for orders, but I was the first person who ever placed an order on her website. So that like, how awesome is that? So anyway, that's the package that arrived today. And her name is My Real California Life. And that's why I saved her for last, because I'm going to show you the makeup. <coughs> and I'm not telling you you have to go buy it, because I understand. People have pocketbooks. They have budgets. They have bills. Whatever. I get it. If you can, support her. If you can't, subscribe to her YouTube channel. Get to know her. She's still a great person. And I'm thinking about ordering another one of these to put in the giveaway. I'm going to do swatches. I'm going to show you how it all performs, let you know, give you my honest review. And she's not paying me to say these things. Like, again, we just hooked up <laughs> recently. I reached out to her. So, okay. So the name of her company is Classy Cake Cosmetics. 
And the reason it's called Cake, Classy Cake, is her last name is Cake. So, but all the pictures online look super creamy. She hand makes everything, presses it herself. Like, the, the set, one of the things I ordered, I'll show you in a minute, like, I picked, like, that was awesome to me that it was, like, hand-selected. All around the mul the mulberry blush. So this is what that, look how shiny that is. Okay, so I'm gonna do a swatch of that real quick. Creamy, like super creamy. So that's just one swatch. Who has blush that looks that good? So you wouldn't even need to dip just a dab and that would look amazing. And that's my type of color anyway. I love blushes. I mean, you could tell with my skin tone. So that's gorgeous. And this was the one that I, um, I guess, picked the colors I wanted. So it's, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It doesn't say, it says Classy Cake Cosmetics on the back. But um, basically you could choose between her highlighter colors and her blush colors. But you get to pick two colors or you could pick the same color twice so let me open this guy up she even put this in there so it wouldn't get messed up so i picked i can't remember the names of the colors but this was like sea turtle green and this was like a purple color right so i wanted two highlighters because i really enjoy highlighters so these were two of our highlighters and she even puts the details it's like flowers, let's see, it's like a rose, and then roses going around the side. It's really pretty, and look how, I mean, that's, that's really big, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you what that swatch is like. So I'll do the purple first. That's the purple. That's gorgeous. I would definitely use that as a highlighter. And all of these things can be used for different areas. So if you wanted to <coughs> use it as your inner corner, I would definitely. But look how pretty that is. Okay, now I'm gonna try the sea turtle green. I got that in the biggest pan because I just thought it just looks so pretty. And it like it feels like butter. Like it is so smooth. Okay, so there's the green. Like, these are gorgeous. Okay, so there's the blush, and these are the two highlighters. So this is the purple shade she has, and you'll you'll see these on her website if you go. Again, not, not forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do. <laughs> but anyway, so here's purple and here's green. Okay, so here's the palette. Look at that. Is that not cute? Okay. Oh, they're all handwritten. I mean, we're talking an independent brand, guys. This gets no more independent than this. I love it. Okay, so I take the plastic wrap off, or the bubble wrap. So cute. Look at those. They're gorgeous. And we even talked like the, I can't remember the numbers, but the average weight of a pan size, like she's pretty much doubled in each of her pans. Like it's nuts. So she's giving you like a ton of product. And like I said, it's all made by hand by somebody you like can follow on YouTube and talk to and enjoy and like, I don't know, I just love that. It's more personalized. And she had a mini palette that was like half of this. And oh my God, I was obsessed with it too. Like the colors were so cute. But anyways, this was like her version of a rainbow palette. And I think that's stunning. Okay, I can't wait. Like this, I love like teal turquoise. This color right here is so like, ugh. This one and this green are probably my favorite and this color 
is probably what would look the best on me. <laughs> I love it too, but these colors are just, I don't know, they're all stunning. Color one. Okay. Stunning. Okay, color two. Ooh, that matches the bear on my arm. So pretty. Color three. If you love a good copper color on your eye, that's that's the one for you. It's beautiful. She sells singles as well. Keep that in mind. Now, this is going to be interesting because this will put her to the test because they say purples are very hard to make. That's what all the big makeup brands say. They all have a whole palette that's great. Bam. And the, why am I horrible at swatching, guys? When will I learn that my arm doesn't turn like this for the camera? Are we good? Can we see it? Anyways, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's pigmented. But all the companies swear that purple is the worst. It's so hard to make. Well, my friend, she nailed it. All right, this is a gold color. It's like a dark gold. And I'm about to put it right next to the other one I couldn't show you because I'm dumb. So here we go very pretty did not stain my skin okay beautiful okay now i'm moving to the second row i don't know what i would call this color like a the emerald maybe it's real pretty that's stunning. Okay. This one is also pretty close to the teddy bear. All right. Here we go. Oh, and I forgot to tell you the uh, best part of this. Everything is vegan and cruelty free. She made sure of that. <clears throat> okay, so I did 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, this color. The way it like shines, it kind of, it looks duo chrome. Very pretty. All right. This guy. Super creamy. Yeah, they're probably like, we get it. They're creamy, they, but they really are. Look how pretty that is. Okay. This guy, beautiful blue. This is the green I was obsessed with right here. So I'm interested to see how that performs. Oh, wow. Stunning. Okay. And this is like a real pretty rose color. It's hard to do a thumb swatch. Okay. When have you ever seen an eyeshadow palette um, where every color has been like perfect, pigmented? They're all consistent, like all of them. Like every palette that I get from like a company, there's always like at least a couple that are, mm, and I haven't found any yet. We have three shades left now. It could happen, but so far, Oh, that's so pretty. I can do so many looks. Look at that. Okay. So that was like a true lavender right there. 
This is the color I said I think would look the best on me because I feel like this color, this is like gold gold with like orange. I don't know. It's real pretty. But this type of color always looks really good on me when on makeup. I would have never guessed it, but it does. Oh, wow. This is like a rose. I don't know. They're all so pretty and they're different. None are like the same color. I love that. I hate when you look at palettes and you feel like they're all the same thing and they're not. Okay, so that's the last three. Literally every single color. And look at them. Still completely full. Not even close to any pan. All completely creamy. Nothing fell apart. Nothing crumbled. Gorgeous. That's my story. That's why you support people. And you never know what you're going to come up with. But I found so far that you meet wonderful people. You don't regret it. Life is short. Brings you happiness. And in this case, beautiful makeup too. So anyways, love you guys. I will link everybody's channels in the description. And if you're interested in her makeup, which... I don't know why you wouldn't be. This is like super, super beautiful and highly recommended. I will also leave a link to her website. I mean, but you can be number two or number three. But I would love to be able to say we um, started boosting sales for her. Wouldn't that be amazing? Make somebody's dreams come true this week. So love you guys. Um, also, again, let me know. Should I put one in? Would y'all be interested in this and my giveaway? Because my giveaway is pretty much put together. All I need now is the subscribers. <laughs> so anyway, let me know. Should I order it? Would y'all love to have this? Because if it were me and I was watching somebody and they just showed me that, I'd be like, uh, yeah. So anyway, love you guys. Don't forget, can't spell original without Gina. Hope everybody has a wonderful week. It's Monday right now and Mondays suck. So you do the most that you can do in your life to make your Monday better. Love you and till next time.